everyone, this is T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here with another tutorial on effects here. This is chapter 8. It's called Let's Arrange Particles by Spawn Method. So the three things we're going to go over here is making particles in a circular motion by spawn method. You can do it with parent-child nodes, but it's a lot harder. This just simplifies it. We're also going to spawn particles in a sphere and then we're going to point the particles in the right direction so that they'll fly from the sphere in different 300, random 360 degree angles. So let's check it out. So the first thing that you do, or the first thing that they ask you to do is to download a couple sample project files. So I already did that. We're gonna start on circular effect. So let's open up circular effect and give that a play. And as you can see, there's really not a lot happening here. Uh, it doesn't look very circular to me. So we are going to open the spawning method window. Select our node. And we're going to change this to circle. The radius is four. Let's check it out. There you go. Now you can see that we have points spawning in a circular pattern. So let's add a few more to do something else kind of cool. We're going to change the vertexes to 12. And then in the basic settings, we're going to change the spawn count to 12. And you'll notice that the points are showing up randomly on the circle. And so in order to change that, we're going to change the spawn mode to clockwise. And now it shows up like a clock, except for I'm looking at it from behind. So there we go. Now it shows up like a clock. Isn't that cool? So the next section of the tutorial is called Spherical Effect. And we have Project 2 open now. Let's take a look at what they got. We have some orbs that are floating up into the sky. The next step, we're going to go into the spawning method window, select the node, and change the circle to sphere. We're going to change the radius to 4, and then the deviation for the x and y to 360. So now, when it spawns each point, it's going to spawn at a random point at any part of the surface of the sphere. So the next section of the tutorial is effect for angles, and that is using Project 3. We're going to go ahead and open that right now. Okay, so here's Project 3. We're going to play that and see what we got. So it looks like the, the particles are being spawned in the sphere, but then just flying straight up through. And I'll show you why that's happening. Instead of flying in every direction, which is what you would prefer, what is happening is each particle is being spawned with an upward orientation. So what we really want is the particles to be spawned with their orientation facing upwards related to the point at which they're touching the surface of the sphere. In order to do that, we go in again into the spawning method window, and we're going to change this set angle on spawn to on. And now you see it flies out at every angle from the center of the sphere, which is what you want. And that has to do with the orientation of the particle. That one might trip some people up because when you're looking at a circle, it's impossible to tell the orientation. It looks the same no matter what angle it's being spawned at. So make sure if you want this kind of exploding type of effect to select set angle on spawn. So there it is. The spawning method window has a lot of really neat goodies in it, so definitely don't overlook this, this option when you're making your animations. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Next time we're going to cover chapter 9. If you like this video, consider giving it a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. As always guys, until next time, bye!